Hello and welcome to the Film Posers YouTube channel. Today we will be reviewing The Honeymoon Phase and this video will be moderated by Ana Sofia. Take it away. Yes, so as Josie said, we're going to review The Honeymoon Phase and it's directed by Philip G. Carroll and it's about a struggling young lovers, Tom and Eve, must endure 30 day scientific experiment, room board for $50,000 a month alone together in a rigid facility housing. And the movie stars Chloe Carroll and Jen Schumann. So to start off our review, Juan, give us your thoughts on it. So I consider The Honeymoon Phase a visually well-made film that highlights the dark side of human relationships with some solid performances. The sci-fi thriller has its moments, but it has an unsatisfying final five minutes that the movie would have probably been better without. This wasn't for me personally, but if the trailer intrigues you and you like content like Black Mirror or Film Black, you might enjoy this. This is definitely a film that's not gonna be for everyone, but it's a very, it does have an audience. It's just a very limited audience. Um, what about you, Josie? What are your thoughts on the film? Yeah, so along the same lines as one, I did find that uh, it is a slow burn sci-fi thriller with various twists and turns that doesn't truly resolve themselves until the very end, which I assume it's for the purpose of leaving people on the edge of their seat. Um, I would say there are a couple of, I had a couple of issues with the pacing and the overall story, as in I was confused as sometimes with what we as a viewer were trying to get what was the message of this film but it is an entertaining film with good production like the production design was very interesting to watch and i love the concept of this world the world building was actually very good and it is definitely bouncing off of piggybacking off of what one said definitely perfect for uh, fans of black mirror or from black and the twilight zone great and what about you Gabriela? Um, yeah, same thing. I thought the production aspect of it was the best part of the movie. But the thing is, a lot of things that don't end up making sense. And that was kind of a lot for me to look past. I couldn't look past it. So I was just, by the time it ended, I was confused and I just didn't really understand what the whole point of the experiment was by the time the movie ended. And yeah, it it was definitely a Black Mirror episode at first. It felt like a very long Black Mirror episode and then it takes an orphan Black twist and then it just ends. And yeah, I wasn't that big of a fan of it due to the incons inconsistencies in the plot, but the production aspect of it was great that was the best part of the movie in my opinion so my thoughts on the film also the same as like the film posters i also felt that it was a really large um black mirror episode with orphan black the thing is that in the trailer it kind of shows that it was mostly going to be like um from the facility point of view but when we get to the film it's a whole different movie at the end and i felt like it kind of misses the point and sometimes because it starts with something and ends with another storyline yes i also feel that the movie it's not for everyone in the sense that it could be really violent and it could be really triggering for some people so if you enter the film please be sure that if you can actually watch the movie or not Production wise, I, that's that was my favorite part of the whole film, the production, the costume design, I really like the concept that is very futuresque. I also like the visuals, it was really great. I like the cinematography of it, but I can concur that the, the only thing that I wasn't taken aback was with the storyline. I feel that they were a little bit like plot holes there because again, it ends with a story that was completely from the beginning. I don't know if that was the director's intention or not, but nevertheless, the things that I like was cinematography and the visual effects. When backing up Anna, it does have a few moments that are violent against women and it can be triggering, so a warning for that. 
So this is the end of our review. If you want to check the movie out, it's already available in VOD, especially in Amazon and in iTunes. And it's also available in Blu-ray if you want to buy it. Um, thank you for watching. Please check us out in our social media and Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And follow us on YouTube.